ごきげんよう私はシェイロンビクトリア国立大学出身で専攻はオリジニウムケルシー先生の紹介で本日よりこちらで実習させていただきますよろしくお願いしますドクター Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Ceylon, a 5 star welfare wide range medic. If you watch my videos, you should already know who Ceylon is by now. I made videos about her like around 8 months ago, and if you want to watch them, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Ceylon is the first ever wide range medic. This archetype specializes in resist buff, which decreases crowd control duration of allies by 50%, and Ceylon is able to do just that with her second skill. Just like the archetype's name, Ceylon has larger range than other medics which is additional 6 stars around the usual medic's range. This means that Ceylon is able to heal more allies on wider range but also with 30% reduced healing potency. When the operation has water tiles, she got increased healing potency. As always, let's talk about Ceylon's talent first. Ceylon's talent, Lake Walter, is a generic attack buff that upgrades Ceylon's attack by 6%. This compensates Ceylon's threat penalty a bit as she has a bit higher healing when healing allies outside of her main range. If there's a water talent, she will buff her attack by 24% instead, which is quite massive to compensate her threat penalty. Be aware that Ceylon's talent at the moment does not work on other stages other than her one event. Even if there's water related operation like rain, she still won't upgrade her attack, so be sure to remember that. Let's get into her first skill, Concentrated Hydrotherapy. This skill allows Ceylon to heal an ally up to 200% on her next heal and also ignore the trait penalty when healing for the allies. This skill is quite consistent and can be considered as Ceylon's go to skill if you want consistent burst healing. This skill can store up to 3 times but remember that she will immediately use her stacks on her next heal just like Mir's first skill. Since this skill is quite straightforward, this is how much Ceylon can heal on water tiles and also non water tiles. Next up is her second skill, Water Blessing. This skill allows Ceylon to increase her attack by 60% while also heal an additional ally. Additionally, she will apply Physis buff to all allies within her range. Remember that this skill does not ignore trade penalty. With that being said, she will still heal at lower number on further allies. If enemies have crowd control, then this skill is definitely a great choice for that counter. Be aware that this skill has quite large cooldown so be sure to use it wisely. Oh my god, I'm going to 
I've been using Ceylon ever since she got released and ever since then, she rarely leaves my team because the fact that she is my favorite character. But first of all, yes, she is not the best medic and we can all agree to that, even me. The notable thing about Ceylon is that you need more investment than other medics in general and to make her good, at minimal she should be at least elite 2, level 40. Next up, her talent is just very disappointing because outside of her event, she does not provide anything else aside of resist for her second skill. Her healing is actually fine and kinda makes sense for the penalty because if she doesn't have it, she is kinda busted. Her first skill also has very high burst healing, but most of the time, it's used when you don't really need it. Ceylon uses it immediately even when an ally is at high HP, which can be a waste sometimes especially that if your ally is in pinch. Although, her cooldown is kinda short, so it's kinda a win-win situation in my opinion. Her second skill is honestly very good skill, but her cooldown is very high. The thing is, Ceylon has lower healing than other medics in general, and her second skill is the only skill that can compensate her overall healing consistency. Especially that her first skill can be very unreliable sometimes. However, the cooldown is very high, and if you need it again, you have to wait very long until the skill is ready again. Lastly, Resist is a very niche buff, and you mostly need it at chapter 6, and maybe the upcoming event, the trick rated strategies or also known as the roguelike, where the long duration of hard controls exists, that's it. And even so, you can clear these stages without needing Resist buff, so you know that this buff is just not the most necessary thing. And honestly, there are more underrated medics that does high healing without needing intensive investments such as Mir and Silence. Now, as for my experience of using Salon for pretty much my whole time playing this game, I have to disagree with the opinion that she can keep your allies alive. This is pretty much the proof of it. No other medics, no healing defenders, and no other healing sources helping, just Ceylon. In case you are new in this game, this is the hardest stage in this game right now, H74. Some may nitpick that I use big damage in here, but in my defense, if you don't have good DPS, then you'll get pressure no matter how good your medics are. While you can clear this stage with low gravity as some people already did that, doing so is very hard and not the most ideal way to clear it, at least in my experience doing this kind of strategies most of the time. Anyway, back to topic, even though that I show you this, I still don't encourage you to build Ceylon because her whole earth type is just very hard to use due to the trade penalty, which is also including the upcoming characters such as with Sprint and hopefully Pure Stream. Secondly, Resist is a very niche buff, so yeah, overall this archetype is just very niche, but if you really want to build one, then I'd say just wait for Whisper Rain because she's more consistent when it comes to Resist buff and also make good use of this niche. That is probably the longest opinion that I ever given in this channel. So yeah, unless Ceylon is your wife who like me, <laughs> or you have spare materials, I don't recommend building Ceylon because there are way better options than her. Although, I have to admit, from all operators that are wasted on, Ceylon is the only one that very rarely left the team because she is a medic and she still does her job very well. Not only because she is my favorite character, but she can also keep the team alive. The thing is, any medic works, but some do way better than the other. But as long your medic still does the job well, then that's what matters. But all in all, I'd say if you really want to build Ceylon unless you already have built her, then I recommend you to build your other medic first, then build your Ceylon. Thank you so much for watching, if you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button because it will help my channel a lot. Be sure to also hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of my new videos. As always, thank you so much to my supporters, if you want to support me, you can join the Patreon or donate at Paypal or Coffee. the link is in the description below. Thanks so much for your support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Says everyone, peace out.